Shooting up funeral homes. Oh, yeah, it happens. Shooting up churches. Yes, it happens. Spawn one, what a great question about. You know, when people, when people live their lifestyle, gangsters or that um, rob folks, shot up folks, kill, murder people's family members, and a lot of people that's in the funeral, bed, funeral home business, how they have to be cautious and careful also about the person they about to bury, the family that uses that funeral home, how retaliation from enemies can happen. Uh, just not too long ago, I don't know what funeral home this was, but it was on the news um, about how so many funeral homes are in danger when they bury in certain people because of the lifestyle that that individual lived. Uh, as a matter of fact, while I'm thinking about it, uh, King Von. Uh, y'all, y'all familiar with King Von? Mo three, Young Doe from Memphis. But when uh, when King Von died, they said it was no hard and not one funeral home that wanted to take his body, and, and, and you know, do the burial. Uh, because of the lifestyle. See, King Von bragged about murdering people. He just listened to his rap, listened to his music. He he bragged about that. So, and then they, I think it was one funeral home they really did take him in, his body in, but they said he had to be buried the very next day because, you know, sometimes they'll hold the body. They said they weren't going to hold that body because the, the fear of all the enemies that he had, somebody coming to shoot up the funeral home. And this is why when people ask me about going to graveyards and funerals and all this stuff, I say, just like the Bible, say, let the dead bury the dead. And I, I, I explain that in all kind of videos. Um, some people choose to go to the graveyard. Some people choose to go to funerals. Some people don't. That's why when a lot of my homies died, I ain't go to hardly none of them funerals. Especially when I when I know the lifestyle that a person lives and I, and I know how... You reap what you sow to come back and hunt you down. Because one thing I've learned in this life, when somebody is coming to get revenge and kill, they don't care who's in the way. They don't care if it's a church building. They don't care if it's little children in the way. They don't care if it's your mama house. They don't care. My ex-girlfriend years ago, Sean, Sean had a baby brother who witnessed a drive-by. And the gangsters, the ones that did everything, the shooting, they saw him witnessing what happened. And you know what they did? They came back and murdered him. And then her oldest brother got murdered on the side of the freeway. He got set up. It was supposed to have been, I guess these ladies or whatever, set. they, they supposed to have a flat on their car or whatever. It was on the news. And he pulled over to help. And they robbed him. They were supposed to just rob him. But not only did they rob him. They killed him. Threw him in the back of his own vehicle. And then dumped his body. So I'm saying all that to say. When you reap what you sow. See we don't know what's going to happen. How it's going to happen. And when it's going to happen. And you have to use your spiritual discernment. My last little cousin that died. I didn't even go to his funeral. And I know a lot of family members got mad at me. I don't care too much for going to funerals. And if I do go to the funeral, it's not for the one that's there. It's for the one that's alive because it's also a great chance to minister to a lot of people because a funeral is just like a magnet. It brings folks together. But you got to be cautious nowadays even going to a funeral. I think Nas, uh, Nas said that in one of his old routes on one, all I need is one mic. Hope and pray that your funeral don't get shot up. Because there have been instances where, man, cats roll up in wheelchairs shooting at the funeral. There have been so many gang members that have been, you know, murdered and and whether it's blood or crip. And you go to the funeral and the church gets shot up. And like I say, when bullets get to flying, they don't have no name on them. I'll leave you on that. Shalom.